No, <laughs> we're right back. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood. So as I have said, if you didn't see the first unboxing video and you're like, oh, Joey's just popped up, this is the first one. And no, it's not. It's part two. <laughs> we're doing the fun unboxing videos on here first, and then we're going to move these videos onto YouTube. So if you didn't see the first one, that's what we're doing. If you've just seen me ha say this already, I apologize for repeating myself, but you know, it's best to explain. So the first spooky box was okay, but a little bit disappointing in some ways. Now this is the one I'm actually more excited for. Uh, so this is the second spooky box. And when they announced this, I was really excited because this is Witch's Cottage, which you can see the awesome little sticker there. I will be keeping that sticker. I sometimes very carefully peel the stickers off if they're cool. So if you don't know about the spooky box service by now, then you'll never, never know me at all. Uh, this is a boxing subscription service, UK-based, where everything is creepy, spooky, fun. Uh, I get the subscription, which they may or may not do anymore, but I was subscribed a while back, and it's a 20 a month. They donate some of it to charity. You're supposed to get it every month. They've been a bit bad at the end of last year and not been sending things out on time. Um, but, ooh, so the first thing is that I open the box and I'm trying really hard not to read anything, but the confetti is all pink cats and black witches. And I don't know if, if anyone else feels this, but like black and pink is like the sexiest combination that there is. Okay. That's, that's cool. So I'm going to put that down. So I don't know what this is and I'm going to try and pick out that confetti cause I love it. So the first thing I've got a pretty good idea what this is because Somebody kind of semi-spoiled me when they said their thing was broken, and I recognized the box with all the stars stuck to it. Starry-eyed little lady is going to save all the confetti. Okay. Also, this box will work really well to be recycled as long as I don't rip it, which I always do because I'm clumsy. Don't rip it, don't rip it. Ha! Yes, it is what I suspected. Mine is intact, so that's all good stuff. It's a shame for the lady whose was not. Um, it may have been that the, the, their uh, courier wasn't careful, though, because that does happen. So there's a mug, which I can always use more of, and it says Magical Potion. That is cool. This I approve of. Uh, I really like that. That is neat. Uh, you can't go wrong with a mug. You can't go wrong with a mug. <laughs> uh, I really like them when they do mugs. I always feel like the boxes which have the mugs in from Spooky Box tend to be of a higher quality. The last time they had a mug in one, I was like over the moon with everything in that box. So fingers crossed. So this is super cute. I am I am approve. I approve. It's a good start. I like the confetti. I like the mug. So... Okay, and then we have, so we are back to the usual standard of the lollipops. Uh, I give the lollipops away, or, or I like try and feed my other half them, but he doesn't care for them either. So it's like, eat it, eat it. No, all right, then I'll, I'll give it to someone who might eat it. Um, so the lollipops are kind of by the by for me, but they're a cute addition if you like lollipops. So I like the pin, that's a good sign. Yes, the pin is the pin is good. So the pin is a little witch's hat. And you know, we're all witches here, right? <laughs> we're probably not, but um we all are, I like the witch aesthetic. So a little purple hat pin, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. I like that. That's good. That's good. So what's so what's this? This is this is interesting. Hang on. I'm always a little bit worried when it looks like the jewelry could have been made by me cuz I'm not that great. Well, I say that though, I've been making a necklace recently and I'm really proud of it, so I would probably not do this. Um, hmm, I want it's tangled. Um, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, do you guys remember the, the when they did the bone necklace? Uh, do you remember like the, the bone that hung down and then they had like a thick skull and it was a really gorgeous necklace? Do you guys remember that box? Because I do, because I've left those necklaces when I moved and I was heartbroken when I realized I dropped them out of the bag. So, and then you get necklaces like this. And... 
And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It kind of looks like thrown together in two minutes and I'm not that. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. See, this is a sort of necklace that I would take the charms off, recycle the charms in my things and use the chain. So um, sometimes the necklaces are like really fancy and really cool. And this one just doesn't hit that same kind of quality. So that's a shame. The next thing is gorgeous. The next thing is 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 gorgeous and I haven't even taken it out of its packaging yet. Coasters can always use coasters <sighs> and they're like anime skulls. Ha uh okay so they oh my god what's my what's the an... what's the anime that I'm thinking of <sighs> with the guy that turns into a scythe and she's a shimigami and they only made one series and it's a crime against humanity because they only made one I can't remember, but there's like a there's like a moon in the sky, and they have this kind of death skull guy in it. That anime, someone will correct me probably on YouTube once that like, or I'll remember, and I'll be like, that's what it was, and then people will tell me. However, regardless, these are amazing. So I love these. These are cool skulls, baby. Yes. They're kind, of, they're kind of anime skulls as well, which I can get behind. Ooh, oh, the tea sounds interesting. They haven't done a tea for a little while. Oh, no. No, they ruined it. It's got pineapple in it. God damn it. Uh, I just saw the ingredients. I was like, apple, apple tea, apple. I love apple, pineapple. No, God damn it. So the first and foremost thing is that I will be picking the it's not, see, I was thinking it was Death Note, but that's not the wrong one. It's more of a cartoony anime, and the guy has the, the spiky hair, and he turns into his scythe. And and she's a Shinigami with blonde hair and pigtails. I had, I, I even had pop vinyls of them. So the fact that I've forgotten this is crazy. I used to have pop vinyls. I lost all my pop vinyls. Um, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, hang on. We will. I will find the anime because because that's gonna bug me now. So, uh, yeah, that one. What's it called? Soul Eater. That's what it's called. The anime is Soul Eater. That's the one I was referring to. Soul Eater is a really good anime if you're into it. Uh, okay, so this is the tea. Poison apple tea, the, the aesthetic is gorgeous because I'm loving that tree, I'm loving that green. Now, that's a bit ironic because I don't care for green most of the time, but okay. Oh, wow, it's huge chunks of pineapple as well. Okay, so the tea actually looks really pretty and it smells really nice. I will <laughs> I will tooth comb through and take all the pineapple out um, because the rest of it is super, super nice. Mm. Their teas are really interesting. I don't know why they don't do that a little bit more often. I think the teas are great. So that's uh, that. I'm half and half. Like the, t if it were, <laughs> it would have been really good if there'd been no pineapple. But um, there we go. Oh, what's this? This looks interesting. Oh, the next two things. Oh my god. Is that the last two? Yeah. Then these are the last two things. But oh my god, guys, guys. Guys, what is this? What is this? What is this? What's this? What's this? This thing's in witches. What's this? What's this? There's witches in the. Oh my god, it's soft and fluffy and oh, it's it's probably like a pillow cover. Um, yeah, I think it's meant to be like a pillow cover, but I would use it as like an altar cloth. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. You're totally right, Gail. This this box is much, much, much better. Look at this. Look, at, this is so my bag that I can't even explain it to you guys. This I love. This I love. This I love. This is going to be, this is going to be some kind of altar cloth and the next thing is even better. So I was actually talking to Tribe yesterday about how much I love stickers because I'm a child. And so the next thing in here is stickers. And it's so... So my kind of stickers, I can't even, I nearly bought some just like this. This is gorgeous. 
I love this. Focus spells, crystals, they've got some shimmy through this. This, this is this, this, right? These two are worth the price of admission. That's that's fine. Like everything else could have been absolutely crap. These two were worth the price of admission. And what I will say is the only thing that I don't care for is in this one is the necklace. Everything else apart from pineapple, but we can deal with pineapple. Like right? pineapple is not a deal breaker. We can we can figure it out. <laughs> Um, everything else in here is is nice. Um, th th like these two things are amazing. Planner stickers, right? Or what I tend to do is I have um, notebooks that double up as books as shadows because I like I write a lot of recipes down doing what I do, um, and I always love to have witchy stickers on there, which a helps me remind me which book we're on, kind of gives me a mental link to which recipe is in which book, but b because it's cool and I like to have you know witchy stickers on my witchy books. I like to do it. I like to do it. Okay. I don't know what this is. But this is over excitement at these two things. These two things are gorgeous. The coasters are really, really cute. And the uh, mug, which now has the holly pops in, this is cool as well. And the pin is cute. So the only thing I'm not that fussed about was the necklace. I think they could, probably could have left the necklace out. And nobody would have cared. Um, or oh, they should have put something, they should have put another set of stickers in. That's what they should have done. We should have had two lots of stickers. Um, but yeah, there's these. This right here. Oh, it's so soft as well. It's soft. These right here. These right here are worth the price of admission. So I'm going to, this, it always makes me wonder with Spooky Box if they're like, shall we send the box that we don't think is as good out with a really good one so people don't unsubscribe? <laughs> like, is that cynical of me? I think because the abominable box is just abominable. Um, but this box is really cool, apart from the necklace, which, no. Um, so this is really cool. I like this box a lot. So this was fun. This was fun. I needed some fun. I know that it's been a stressful few days for a lot of us. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today for the live just to do something silly and do some unboxing. That's a pin. The pin is cool too. The pin is definitely going on my handbag. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for uh, everything. Thank you to Miss Gail for uh, not telling me what was in this book of boxes because that was really cool. That was a really cool surprise. That that was really cool. So let's hope next month is A on time and B as good as the cottage because I was hoping it would be good and it was. That witch aesthetic is right up my street, funnily enough. So I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you guys for uh, hanging out with me today for a little bit. Many blessings.